Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is May 17th and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. It shows this trough digging down the coastline right across California quite nicely. Going to be some thunderstorm activity with this and it's going to bring some winds, maybe a little bit of higher elevation snowfall as well. We'll take a look at how long this is going to last and what is to come after that. As we go through the video here this morning, taking a look at lightning strikes over the last 24 hours, we got a couple strikes there across some of the Sierra Nevada, Northeast California, generally the winter, Northwest Nevada portions of Southeast Oregon. And then again, this is the last 24 hours, few lightning strikes across some of Southeast Arizona as well. And if you want your own uh, lightning detection system, you can install this at your house. It'll be up and running in minutes, stores all the data for you in the cloud. Highly recommend this station. Click on the link to save 10% off on one. So looking at where we are right now, and if I scroll back and forth, you can see just how entrenched and pushed that marine layer is up to the high higher terrain there into California. It's not budging much as I scroll back and forth. Um, we'll see how much that gets eaten away at today, but I wouldn't count on it being eroded too much. And again, yeah, kind of an interesting look here as you see that trough digging down across the region. And there is even a little bit of sunshine here across places north of the Bay Area there as well. So you can take that into account also. So now taking a look at what is going on here. This is a combination of Doppler radars, and you can see uh, there is some precipitation across northeast California, a little bit of light precipitation, maybe along the coastal areas. I don't see anything across Southern California as of right now you can kind of dive in here and you can scroll and you can look at all this great information here uh, brought to you by the national weather service here so if you look at some places across this is torrance for example looks like 10 miles so it doesn't look like that marine layer is down at the surface limited visibility too much at this point it looks like you know bracket field is at five miles right now but you got some lower seedlings out there as well now if you guys want to help support the channel go to the patreon page you can also go to the community tab here as well and send me some of your images if you have them that would be much appreciated i get people sending me images on twitter and things like that and some of my direct messages but this is probably the best way to do it so i can just share it with everybody now taking a look here at the storm prediction center you can see it does clip portions of california nevada border northeast california yet again today day two that will be pushing off to the east and day three you can see some severe weather across the central plains so i'll probably be out chasing that here probably leaving tonight but yeah interesting tornado threat out there tomorrow across portions of Kansas and Oklahoma. Now back to California here, Fire Weather Watch. You guys might have seen this on the National Weather Service page. This is the Sacramento Valley here. You can see this goes through 8 p.m. on Monday. The north winds 15 to 25, gusts to 35. Some lower relative humidities and overnight maximum relative humidities fairly low. And we could get some of those fire starts. So be careful out there. These are no doubt probably going to be human caused cigarettes, dra dragging change, people parking on grass, things like that. So just keep that the back of your mind let's try not to start any fires out there probability of thunderstorms on saturday so you see northeast california there the chances go down but they still are there for some of the sierra nevada and I don't know why even San Jose has the 1% there. Not really expecting a thunderstorm out there as well. It's kind of interesting to see it. Interesting graphic there by the National Weather Service Sacramento. And here's also the Bay Area talking about this. Again, this goes all the way on in through Monday night here. Same uh, same issues there. And watch out with those ignition sources, mainly being us, the human beings. Probability precipitation today through Sunday a.m. You can see there's a lot of green on here, but these chances are not that high. You see, that uh, what, a 26% looks like 31 for Escondido, 23% for Oceanside. And maybe across the higher train will ring out a little bit of precipitation. This is not a big precipitation maker. There is no flooding threat with this activity here at all. Now, taking a look here at the 500 millibar height. So what we're looking at here is a ridge out over the Pacific Ocean. If you look to the bottom left, there is the Hawaiian Islands. There is the state of California. This is what's known as a trough. And you can kind of see that trough there centered across the Gulf of Alaska. Put that into motion. And that is our inside slider right there. The ridge, again, out over the Pacific Ocean. And you get kind of that clockwise rotation around at the northwest flow here helping to carve that trough out across the southwest usa systems continue to pinwheel through the pacific northwest our ridge flattens out a bit here as we go on in through next week at least it's not a major ridge when you see those big ridges really bumping up and the ridge axis gets up the coastline that's when it can really start to ramp up the heat here across the state of california but you see we still have that zonal flow and we have that weak system rolling through there as we go through the midweek next week there and kind of keeping that ridge at bay at least for now now taking a look at the european so if we look at what precipitation chances we have today
day. You can see it does try to bring some to Southern California. It's not a lot. And there could be some snow, mainly above, what, 7,500, 8,000 feet across the higher terrain. And it shouldn't amount to too much. But heads up, if you are off across the backcountry, this trough is on the chillier side of things, relatively speaking. And then we scroll on in through Sunday. That system starts to move off to the east. We go on in through Monday. And we start to get a break from the precipitation here as we go through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday upcoming here. So we're going to dry out a bit here in the wake of this system. Now, looking at lightning flash density potential, this is for this afternoon. And again, some of these could be decent lightning producers there just into California, there northeast California, some of the southern Sierra Nevada, east slopes, portions of Nevada as well. Then we go on in through Sunday that moves to northern Arizona, portions of Utah. Then again, like I said, we start to dry out here as we go through this upcoming week. A little blurb there. We'll see if there's anything going to destabilize. We'll watch that at a later date. Now, lightning flash density potential on the high resolution rapid refresh, something similar there. It keeps a lot of that activity right near the California uh, Nevada border there. So it would be pretty close to some of Death Valley, Tonopah, Nevada out there. And again, watch out if you're across the higher terrain for some of those clouds building and potential lightning strike or two. Now, looking at the composite reflectivity here on the North American model. So again, pretty good agreement here. There's some pretty decent amounts of precipitation. I don't know how many Nevada viewers I have. I know I have a few, but Tonopah, Nevada, if one of those showers gets over you, I remember living out there for a few months working for the National Weather Service. And man, it can cause flooding issues fairly quickly there. So watch out if you get underneath some of that action there. You see some of those heavier showers and the dark clouds rolling around those lightning strikes there across portions of Nevada. And you can kind of see how that is clipping portions of California as well. You know, pretty close to the border there. Some heavier rain showing up. Very isolated there, but watch out for the potential. And then we scroll off in through Sunday, and we're through Sunday afternoon, and you can see the state of California largely dries out, and we go on in through Monday there as well. Now, the, another thing with these troughs, they kick up the winds. Look at the ridge top winds here as we're going through, right about what we're doing right now. And you can kind of see the northwest winds here, the westerlies, and then turn southwest. That is the shape of that trough digging down across the southwest USA. Look at some of these winds across the higher terrain and the desert areas, potentially gust up over 50 miles per hour with some of this. And you can kind of see that wind shift as it turns to the north as we go on in through Saturday night and into Sunday morning, pushing down out of the north. But those winds will be lightening up a bit bit and then we go on in through Monday still with the north winds fairly brisk across a lot of the desert areas also and then we go on in through the day Monday and that wind action starts to push across Arizona and New Mexico and pretty strong gale still up and down the coastline of California all the way through Monday afternoon pretty typical there for the waters out there but yeah it looks like they're a bit on the strong side by the time we go towards Monday now looking at daily two meter maximum temperature this is today Saturday May 17th you can see things suppressed a little bit here and we go through Sunday Monday look at the warm-up coming there as that trough gets out of our hair and we start to ramp things up you can see some mid and upper 90s for the San Joaquin Valley the desert areas warm up quite nicely the surrounding areas around Los Angeles probably poking into the 90s as well and then we go through Thursday check it out Friday Saturday who knows what's going to come after that but things still you know fairly warm it looks like in the National Plan of Models run more on that here in a moment there's the European artificial intelligence. So there goes our trough. We've got the ridge kind of hanging off off our coastline there. So these are above average heights. That's why we're going to warm up somewhat here this week. But it doesn't get too well established. We kind of flatten that ridge out a little bit as we go towards the end of next week. There's the next trough there. That's not going to have much of an impact. It doesn't look like on California at this time. But then the artificial intelligence continues to want to show this troughing drop down across the southwest USA. That would be an interesting feature here. This closed low with the ridge extending back up across the Pacific northwest as we go through the extended forecast just something fun to look at right now just a fantasy forecast for now but that would definitely be better than a huge dominating heat dome over the southwest usa However, the artificial intelligence isn't always in line with the, uh, the European ensemble mean. And the European ensemble mean is probably overall a little bit more accurate. But you can kind of see this ridge axis as we go through the end of May. But there is some tropping still nearby. So again, as we get closer, we'll kind of see how this unfolds. Now, two meter temperature anomaly. This is a four. Uh, this is a five day running total here. So if we scroll through the next few days, you can see as we go through this week, we're starting to warm things up a bit here across the southwest USA. And we go on through the extended forecast and then more of a mixed bag here for California as we go towards the end of the month, but still on the warmer side, generally speaking, across much of the West. But that is going to depend on where you are across the state of California. You can see there are some blues in there and then there's some 
yellows and oranges and reds and whatnot. So more of a mixed bag for California. But if we look at the artificial intelligence, let's see what would happen if that trough were to set up across the southwest USA. Again, we warm up this week, but then you can see that trough taking up residence here. And that would definitely keep us on the cooler side of normal as we wrap up the month of May and head off in towards June. Uh, six to 10 day uh, climate prediction center does show that warmth for the southwest USA below normal precipitation as we go through May 26th as well. So anyway, I'll probably head out chasing tonight. I'll try to take my show on the road and do my briefings from the hotel room and let me know what you guys think. Click like and subscribe. We'll do this all again tomorrow, hopefully, and I will talk to you guys then.